What is up guys and welcome to my trick my name is Eric and welcome to a quick video guys Just keeping you guys up to date on what's going on in World of Warcraft Mist of Pandaria slash Warlords of Draenor at the moment A lot of news has been announced since my previous video actually and I just look so much forward to release to release them to you right away First of all the World of Warcraft Worlds of Draenor Alpha um, Beta no not beta Alpha keys has the first keys have been sent out to the community. Well, to some of them. Like, Blizzard has chosen people with a, a popularity on the social websites, such as YouTube or Twitch. They will get their key first, because Blizzard is not bound this time to release over 1 million uh, beta keys this time, as they did for the annual pass back in 2011. Back then, at BlizzCon 2011, they announced that they would make an annual pass where you had to subscribe for World of Warcraft for an entire year. That will give you the other free, for free, and as well as Mr. Pandaria beta key. And... Uh, Blizzard just has to rush out with the beta keys, and back then the experience with the wall with the Fundaria beta wasn't that great now, um, as I guess, because um, the Jade's Forest zone, the starting zone, got rewamped during the freaking beta testing, and people got confused, they didn't know what to do, they didn't know what to, where to go, etc. And I know a lot can change um, here as well, but I think we've got to the point where the game is ready to be announced, not announced and released officially, but I just think we have got to the point where Blizz can start send out the be the beta keys and open the freaking beta. But now we're still in the alpha, and if we look at how things are, if we go back in time to March 2012, in the end of March 2012, uh, they announced that they would do Wars of, no, not Wars of Draenor, sorry, Mist of Pandaria beta, and they were um, gave so many keys away, they couldn't even catch up. And so many pe people got into the beta, and the servers crashed, uh, etc. And that was six months before the release of Mr. Pandaria, which got released in on September 2012. Uh, that was six months difference. Like, if you look at how things are now, we're still in the alpha. The beta hasn't been released yet. It hasn't even been announced at all. We haven't heard nothing. Nothing. No information has been given about beta or the official um, scheduled release date of Worlds of Draenor itself hasn't even been given yet. We're in June, for fuck's sake. We, I mean, if we have to wait six months, that is December. I mean, do we... That was actually a scheduled time for Blizzard to release Walls of Draenor. But if we take a look at how things are, they did the same thing for Cataclysm. They released Dragon Soul patch 4.3 in late November 2011. And if we go uh, further on um, on the calendar, Mr. Fendari got released on September 25, the 25th of 2012, uh, 10 months later um, since the last content was released in the Cataclysm. So 10 months where people didn't have anything to do, just as it, just as it is now. Like, Siege of Okrama, the patch 5.4, got released on September 2013. If Blizzard has planned to release Walls of Draenor on December 2014, that is over a year's different, guys. I know they've added more gameplay, more content to do, such as the Timeless Isle, a larger raid this time also, Proven Grounds, etc. All this kind of uh, nice stuff. But we have explored this stuff. We have killed Garrus Elstream at least 10 to 12 times, 10 to 20 times now. And one of the hardcore raiders, they're doing the same thing over and over again. They've cleared Chicha Walker, my heroic, maybe 12, maybe 20 to 30 times now. Well, 20 at least, and they get it boring. This is a very dangerous time for Blizzard, and they keep doing this for every fucking expansion. And this is just a stupid thing to do. I think they should release more uh, uh, keys to give away, so we can play something else while we uh, wait for Wolf of Draenor to be released, because we have nothing to do in Wolf of Draenor at the moment. We are getting capped in Arena, we are doing the same shit. We are grinding Gyun Shichi of uh, probably seeing if we can get the amount from Hulan on the Timeless Isle, etc. We are doing the same shit over and over again. And we just got to the point at the end of Mr. Pandaria where we don't find things so fun as usual. And as I said, this is at the freaking end of the expansion, so it is um, something you have to accept, I don't know. 
but at least Blizzard could have keep us entertained, but no, we're not even getting into the beta, no. We're just sitting here doing nothing, waiting, while you watch our m most favorite YouTubers doing all the shit because they got invited first. That's how it is. So, uh, but when I get an alpha uh, key, I will spam content so much, guys, you can't even follow up. I will spam you with videos, okay? So stay tuned for that. It's going to be awesome. I can't wait to do that. But enough about the alpha and my speculations on the release and the bear and all the kind of stuff because it is a big fucking random question when it is going to be released. And that is something I won't be talking about in another video, perhaps. Uh, let's start uh, at the bottom, okay? Um, I'm on my MMO champion now, you can't see it, but you can hear my voice perfectly. We are on MMO champion, and quest objects and NPCs now have idle outlines when selected or needed for a quest, making them easier to see. This replaces the old sparkles that were used for quest objects previously. Outlines can be dis disabled or only set on quest related in titles. So, um, if you take a look at these pictures, guys, um, as you can see, there's a little frame, this little outline around the different characters, and if you click NPCs now and stuff like that, and players, I don't know, you will see this uh, thing. It's amazing, actually, and it's the same as quest objects, a flag, if you have to capture a flag, or if you, if you have to loot a crate, you, the crate will automatically, uh, you know, have this outline that will uh, mark it and, and it will be much more easier to see. And you can set this uh, to quest specific or just overall. That is amazing. Also, UI improvements as well. The dungeon journal now, in the dungeon journal now includes short versions of the fight for each role, which should help players that don't know the fights. So, they sh they the dungeon, dungeon journal will now show you tactics for either damage, heal or tank, which is much easier to figure out what to do. The key binding UI has also been improved to a tab list rather than a very long list you have to scroll through. Oh, nice. Um, so you can actually go through different tabs of key binds now and just instead of just walking through tons of lines just to figure out where the proper uh, action bar is, etc. So it's going to be much easier at all overall. And also you're now able to manage add-ons in-game without having to log out. Fuck yes! The simple add-on control or add-on control panel, panel <coughs> sorry, add-ons will do the same thing now. So you can actually be able to change your add-ons from from um, uh, from in-game and also disable them, etc. And I think it's amazing because I have logged out so many times just w just to tell people I have to I have to uh, to turn off some add-ons. Okay, be right back. Uh, okay, the mount UI now supports marking mounts as favorites and summoning a random favorite mount. It also makes mounts red when they are unusable, unusable in the current area and shows the source. Oh, cool! So you can actually be able to favorite your, you can actually be able to favorite your um, <coughs> your nicest mounts and add them to your favorite list. And all the mounts you've added to the favorite list will uh, get, um, you will be able to summon one of them at a random order each time so it will be a different mount every time you summon your favorite mount list which is awesome as well the toy box UI has been added and a basic list of items in this place and what this toy box UI is is that it is basically all the toys you've achieved from Mr. Fundaria all the rares you drop these nice unique things you can turn into a monkey you can turn into a pirate you can activate this and you will suddenly use a horn that will engage all NPCs around, etc. And that is toys you can use, etc. And they will all be um, put into the same UI now, such as just <coughs> such as the mount UI as well. So you can actually be able to go through all of your instead of going into the bank, etc. So this will be shared among all your characters as well. Uh, bags now have an auto auto sort and basic options to go along with it. And I guess this uh, you can sort it by regions or. You can sell it by mining materials, etc. And all this kind of stuff, you can actually be able to organize your bags much easier. Here's a few pictures of garrisons in Walls of Draenor if you're being a hoardy. Sorry, no lines, uh, screen just has been posted yet, but it looks awesome though. Um, yeah. As well as the Walls of Draenor, 
uh, you can now be able to, you know, disable the character models or show them. If you don't want the new models, you can easily just click on an, um, you can easily just click on a setting, and you will not be able to see the new character models as well. As shown above, new character models can be disabled. No shit, Sherlock. Like co currently, only Frostfire Bridge is open for testing. So screw your alliance. Haha, <laughs> we won. Uh, as of Jobbers, you didn't. The Grinding Reaver and Wolf Sniper have been added to the game shop, and keep in mind that items can be added to the shop just for testing purposes. Okay, um, <clears throat> okay, also, Wolf of Walk of 10th Anniversary Reward has been revealed yet. Also, um, this will be a copy of Hogger that will become your in game pet. You can fight with him in pet battles, and he will be your best friends for the rest of your wow time. Um, he is called Hawks, and he has the same model as Hogger. Um, terrible graphics to be honest, but this model is from the 2014, no 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 2004, over 10 years old almost, so this model is freaking old. Also some new quests has been added, um, which I am sorry I cannot show you right now because there are too many, I'll put a link in the description guys, we can go and check this out. Um, also, the garrison blueprint, and the blueprint is uh, recipes, something you have to learn in order to build the different buildings in your um, in your garrison. And these can be bought from 1,000 1, gold to 5,000 gold, it depends on what, uh, how much quality the building is, etc., and how much it is worth, of course. But you can also achieve this from leveling throughout Draenor. But if you're impatient, you can just buy these right away and key and building a building and build a building. And we'll also draw a uh, void stars um, <coughs> size increase as well. You can see here um, the void stars. The void storage now has two taps, and you can switch between them. Okay, and also, um, Walls of Draenor Alpha Region Bank, uh, they will add an additional tap to your bank um, in World of Warcraft, which is called Regions. There, all you can store all your regions, mining materials, herbs, etc., and they will stack up to a total of 200 now instead of just 20. There will be um, uh, 89. There will be 98 slots to store profession regions. And last but not least, um, there's an interesting tweet here. Does Stormwind stand even little chance of being fixed within the next two years? And Mumber, one of the Blizzard developers, has, uh, answers, We hope to get it to go during 6.0. Awesome. For the Lions players out there, perhaps it is goddamn uh, time that you will get your little park back that you've been missed so much for four years now. Maybe the barracks will, get, will get restored. Perhaps. Who knows? It's going to be awesome to see all of this when the alpha opens or the beta even when I get my freaking key. But I'll keep you guys updated, okay? That was all I have for you in this video, guys. If you guys liked it, then thumbs up. It always helps. And if there's anything that can be improved, then I am willing um, that I am asking you guys so nicely if you could please leave some feedback in the comments below. That will be so appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next one. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.